the General Electric CF6 is a family of high-bypass turbofan engines produced by GE Aviation. A development of the first high-power high-bypass jet engine available, the TF-39, the CF-6 powers a wide variety of civilian airliners. The basic engine core formed the basis for the LM-2500, LM-5000, and LM-6000 marine and power generation turbo shaft. GE intends to replace the CF-6 family with the Genks. Development After developing the TF-39 for the C-5 Galaxy in the late 1960s, GE offered a more powerful variant for civilian use, the CF-6, and quickly found interest in two designs being offered for a recent Eastern Airlines contract, the Lockheed L-1011 and McDonnell Douglas DC-10. The L-1011 eventually selected the Rolls-Royce RB211, but the DC-10 stuck with the CF-6, and entered service in 1971. It was also selected for versions of the Boeing 747. Since then, the CF-6 has powered versions of the Airbus A300, 310 and 330, Boeing 767, and McDonnell Douglas MD-11. In 2000, the NTSB issued warnings about cracking of the high-pressure compressor. In 2010, it issued warnings about failure of the low-pressure turbine rotor discs. Variants, CF-6-6 The CF-6-6 was a development of the military TF-39. It was first used on the McDonnell Douglas DC-10-10. This initial version of the CF-6 has a single-stage fan with one core booster stage, driven by a five-stage LP turbine, turbocharging a 16-stage HP axial compressor driven by a two-stage HP turbine. The combustor is annular. Separate exhaust nozzles are used for the fan and core air flows. The 86.4-inch diameter fan generates an air flow of 1,300 a pound per second, resulting in a relatively high bypass ratio of 5.72. The overall pressure ratio of the compression system is 24.3. At maximum takeoff power, the engine develops a static thrust of 41,500 lb. In 1973, a CF-6-6 fan assembly disintegrated, resulted in the loss of cabin pressurization of National Airlines Flight 27 over New Mexico, USA. In 1989, a CF-6-6 failed causing United Airlines Flight 232 to crash in Sioux City, Iowa. CF-6-50 The CF-6-50 series are high-bypass turbofan engines rated between 51,000 and 54,000 lb of thrust. The CF-6-50 was developed into the LM-5000 industrial turbo shaft engines. It was launched in 1969 to power the long-range McDonnell Douglas DC-10-30, and was derived from the earlier CF-6-6. Not long after the minus 6 entered service, an increase in thrust and therefore core power was required. Unable to increase turbine rotor inlet temperature, General Electric chose the expensive path of reconfiguring the CF-6 core to increase its basic size. They removed two stages from the rear of the HP compressor, leaving an empty air passage where the blades and vanes had once been. Two booster stages were added to the LP compressor, which increased the overall pressure ratio to 29.3. Although the 86.4 in diameter fan was retained, the airflow was raised to 1,450 a pound per second, yielding a static thrust of 51,000 a pound force. The increase in core size and overall pressure ratio raised the core flow, decreasing the bypass ratio to 4.26. In late 1969, the CF-6-50 was selected to power the then new Airbus A300. Air France became the launch customer for the A300 by ordering six aircraft in 1971. In 1975, KLM became the first airline to order the Boeing 747 powered by the CF-6-50. This led further developments to the CF-6 family such as the CF-6-80. The CF-6-50 also powered the Boeing YC-14 USA FAMST transport prototype. The basic CF-6-50 engine was also offered with a 10% thrust D-rate for the 747 Steradians, 
a short-range high-cycle version used by all Nippon Airways for domestic Japanese operations. This engine is termed the CF-6-45. In May 2010, four uncontained failures of CF-6-45 50th engines in the preceding two years prompted the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board to issue an urgent recommendation to increase inspections of the engines on U.S. aircraft. None of the four incidents of rotor disc imbalance and subsequent failure resulted in an accident, but parts of the engine did penetrate the engine housing in each case. CF-6-80 The CF-6-80 series are high-bypass turbofan engines with a thrust range of 48,000 to 75,000 lb. Although the HP compressor still has 14 stages, GE did take the opportunity to tidy up the design, by removing the empty air passage at compressor exit. Following a series of high-pressure turbine failures, some of which resulted in 767s being written off, the FAA issued an airworthiness directive mandating inspections for over 600 engines. The NTSB believed that this number should be increased to include all minus 80 series engines with more than 3,000 cycles since new or since last inspection. The minus 80 series is divided into three distinct models. CF6-80A, the CF6-80A, which has a thrust rating of 48,000 to 50,000 lb, power two twin jets, the Boeing 767 and Airbus A310. The GE-powered 767 entered airline service in 1982, and the GE-powered A310 in early 1983. It is rated for ETOPS operations. For the CF-6-80 Aries Para 1, the fan diameter remains at 86.4 in, with an airflow of 1435 a pound per second. Overall pressure ratio is 28.0, with a bypass ratio of 4.66. Static thrust is 48,000 a pound force. The basic mechanical configuration is the same as the minus 50 series. CF 6 80 C2 For the CF 6 80 C2A1, the fan diameter is increased to 93 in, with an airflow of 1750 a pound per second. Overall pressure ratio is 30.4, with a bypass ratio of 5.15. Static thrust is 59,000 lb. An extra stage is added to the HP compressor, and a fifth to the LP turbine. The CF 6 80 C2 is currently certified on 11 wide body aircraft models, including the Boeing 747 400 and McDonnell Douglas MD 11. The CF 6 80 C2 is also certified for ETOPS 180 for the Airbus A300, Airbus A310. Boeing 767, and, as the F-138 GE-100, the U.S. Air Force's C-5M Super Galaxy. CF-6-80 E-1 The CF-6-80 E-1 is a derivative of the successful CF-6 family applied to the Airbus A330, with thrust rating of 67,500 to 72,000 lb. Other variants the industrial and marine development of the CF-6-80 C2, the LM-6000 series, has found wide use including fast ferry and high-speed cargo ship applications, as well as in power generation. The LM-6000 gas turbine family provides power in the 40 to 56 MW range for utility, industrial, and oil and gas applications. Undeveloped variants the General Electric CF-6-32 was to be a lower thrust derivative of the CF-6-6 for the Boeing 757. In 1981, General Electric formally abandoned development of the engine, leaving the Boeing 757 engine market to Pratt & Whitney and Rolls-Royce. Applications Specifications Data from General Electric General Characteristics Type Turbofan Length 183 inches, diameter, 105 in, dry weight, 8,966 to 9,047 pounds, components, compressor, one-stage fan, three-stage low-pressure, 14-stage high-pressure axial compressor, combustors, annular, turbine, two-stage high-pressure, four-stage low-pressure turbine, performance, maximum thrust. 
52,500 to 61,500 pounds, overall pressure ratio, 29.21-31.11 bypass ratio, 4.24-4.4, thrust to weight ratio, 5.61 to 61, see also, related development, General Electric TF39, General Electric LM2500, comparable engines, Pratt & Whitney JT9D, Pratt & Whitney Palais, 4000, Ibkenko Progress D18, Rolls-Royce RB211, Rolls-Royce Trent 700, related lists, list of aircraft engines, references. External links, GE CF6 website, Volvo Aero CF6-80 webpage. Archived from the original on June 22, 2007 a subcontractor, NTSB safety recommendation on GECF 6 engines of December 12, 2000 PDF 262 kilobytes, Stammen, Ken. Engine failures cause GE overhaul. The Cincinnati Post. Archived from the original on August 22, 2007 a.